I want to take a slightly deeper look now into the, the new version of AJ8 2017. As we touched on just now, this is a very new um, version and it's in two parts now. Part one, AJ8 part one, is very similar to the older 1994 version. The equations are the same. Um, but what I should say is while the equations are the same, there is a slightly different implementation method and also um, a slightly different density for water. The important thing to remember or to note here is that with AJ8 uh, 2017 part one, the results will be very, very, very similar to the 1994 version, particularly if you stay within the recommended ranges. If you go outside of the ranges, you'll start to see differences. But the big change really in 2017 part one to the previous version is that the ranges have been tightened up. You can see at the bottom um, on the left hand side there, the, the temperature and pressure limits for those ranges tightened up compared to the previous version. But then if we look at the all new um, AJ8 part two, this incorporates the GERG 2008 equation of state. And this can be used for a much wider range of pressure and temperature um, situations, as well as a wider range of um, gas compositions. And all of this wide range can be handled and still produce a very, very good measurement uncertainty, which we'll look at in a second. But you can see at the bottom here, the temperature range goes from minus 300 to plus 800 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 10,000 PSI. So, Looking at a little, little bit more detail, um, on this chart at the moment we see AJ8 part one um, and part two composition data on the left. And on the right hand side, we're showing the part one density uncertainty. So if we look at the left hand side, you can see the gas composition limits for AJ8 part one. So for something like propane, the limits are zero to four percent. You'll see for AJ8 part two, there are no limits. We can cope with zero to 100% of each of those components. So it's useful for pure gas applications. But looking at part one on the right hand side, you can see the density measurement uncertainty there. And there's a small box in red at the bottom, which is 0.1% uncertainty. That's a small box. You can see the temperature range 25 to 143 Fahrenheit and up to 1700 um, PSI. Once you get outside that operating envelope, the measurement uncertainty soon increases uh, to 0.3 or 0.5%. So that's something um, you gotta bear in mind. If we bring in um, the part two into the graph on the right hand side in the green box, you'll hopefully see a lighter green box and then a slightly darker green box. The darker green box shows that the wider applicability of AJ8 part two, um, wider pressure, and uh, temperature range, and that still gives us a 0.1% measurement uncertainty for our density. So very, very good measurement uncertainty over a significantly wider pressure and temperature range, and obviously a significantly wider um, gas composition range. And remember, if we go outside of that um, operating envelope with AJA um, part two, we still then get something between a 0.2 and a 0.5 measurement uncertainty. So hopefully that helps people understand the benefits of AJ8 2017, particularly the part two version. The other benefit, as we can see, is that there are no limits to the gas composition. So we can use AJ8 part two for pure gas measurement on all the gases you can see there, 100%. Um, and remember also for carbon dioxide measurement, we can handle both uh, gaseous CO2 as well as the dense phase um, CO2. So this is a very good way to help us add pure gas measurement to the FB series flow computers and RTU. So all the gas calculations we've spoken about, these have obviously been extensively tested within Emerson and also a lot by our customers. But we also had NMI in Holland, the Netherlands Metering Institute, who are one of the most uh, widely respected metrology test houses globally. We had these guys test and verify our calculations. So at the moment they've tested and verified all the calculations you can see here listed on our flow computers on the 1000 and 2000 series. Even though it's the same code, we're still having NMI look to verify the results of the FB3000 um, as well. So we hope to do that and complete that soon. 
but yeah, these have all been verified by by nmi successfully.